outside. <laughs> I was sharing space with my kid. It's hard day. Yeah, it is. Every day with you is hard day, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, where was I? Mom life. Hey guys, I'm Kaylee and welcome to my channel Happy Makes Me where I teach you how to make a handmade lifestyle that makes you happy. I don't know, I'm trying out different intros so if you like that one let me know in the comments below. Or I'm also open to suggestions, you know, nice ones. So if you have any ideas, leave them down below too. I don't know, I don't know. Filming yourself is weird. But anyway, today I am coming at you from my basement studio crafty sewing space. I don't know why I'm saying studio. It's literally just like a corner of my basement that I sew in. I just moved down here from my sewing space upstairs to make room for the burby. So hopefully it's not haunted. I'll keep you posted. So anyway, today I am coming at you from my basement studio with a fun, crafty, sustainable swap that you can make is this little cutie. This crochet reusable daisy face scrubby. How cute are you? It looks like a flower for your face. What I love about these is that they are a reusable, sustainable swap, so you can totally use them to replace your disposable cotton pads or cotton rounds, whatever cotton ball you use to clean your face with. But they also replace disposable makeup wipes. So you can just use them with your cleansing routine or you can put a little bit of toner on them, use it to wipe your face. I don't know what you do with cotton balls, so <laughs> you can use this instead. So this is a fast and easy beginner friendly crochet project that there is also a written pattern for that is totally for free if you wanna download it and print it off to use alongside this video. I'll share at the end of the tutorial how you can download that. If you're into sustainable swaps and other crafty DIYs like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can see more videos like this one and ding that notification bell so you can find out when the next one posts. I'm also gonna have links to all of the supplies that I use in the description box below. Just for full transparency, I do use affiliate links, which means when you shop these products using one of my links, I may earn a small commission based on your purchase. However, there is absolutely no obligation for you to buy via those links. I just like sharing because it's what I'm using. But if you do end up using it, thank you so much because your purchase really helps support me in making more videos like this one. So thank you. But if that's not your deal, no worries. Enjoy the free video. And like I said, this is a beginner friendly crochet project. However, there are a couple things that you're gonna need to know before you get started. You're gonna need to know how to make the magic circle or use the magic circle method, how to do a slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and puff stitch. And for the puff stitch, what you're gonna do is insert your hook three times. So you're gonna have a total of seven stitches on your hook. I'll go over it when we're crocheting, okay? <laughs> but just so that you're aware. All right. That's enough chit chat. Let's do the dang thing. Ready to crochet? For this project, you're going to need some Lion Brand Re-Up yarn or a similar category four worsted weight yarn, a five millimeter crochet hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is make the magic circle. So in order to do that, you're going to wrap your yarn around two of your fingers, like your index and middle finger. This part is gonna be a little bit fiddly just because you need to make sure that you're hanging on to both of those strands together. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your working yarn is coming off the right side of your project with the tail coming off the left. Okay, so holding on to both of those, you're gonna insert your crochet hook, keep hanging onto those strings, yarn over, pull her on through, yarn over again, and that is your chain stitch. Next, you're going to crochet four times into the circle, so four single crochets. Okay, here's your last one. Ah, look at you, you did it! Now you have four single crochets in your chain stitch on the ring. So what you do next is you're gonna pull the tail, boop, and it just makes a tiny little, a little boop there. Then you're going to insert your hook into the chain stitch. You're gonna slip stitch. It's a little tricky because that circle gets a little tight. And then chain one. Now we're gonna start our little puff stitches. So to do this, as I mentioned before, we're going to insert our hook three times. So there you yarn over, insert your hook into your stitch, yarn over, pull through. Now you have three stitches on your hook. What we're gonna do next is yarn over, insert into the same stitch, or same chain, yarn over, 
pull through. Now you have five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Good counting. Yarn over, insert, yarn over again, pull through. You'll now have seven stitches on your hook and that's how many you want. You yarn over and pull it all the way through. Now I will say with this yarn, it's a little bit tricky because it does, it is prone to splitting. So just be careful when you're pulling through, but that's your first puffy. Then you're gonna do the same exact thing through each stitch. So you're gonna do this a total of four times. That's what's gonna make the kind of like inside portion of your little daisy. Okay, at the end of this round, you're going to slip stitch in order to join and then chain one. Okay, and next up is an increasing round. So what you're gonna do is insert your hook and do two single crochet into each stitch. There's one and two. Ooh, I'm having a hard time. And then we're going to do that the same in the next stitch. So two single crochet in the same stitch. And then you're gonna repeat that process all the way around. So same thing here, you're gonna slip stitch to join at the end of the round and chain one. For our next increasing round, you're going to do two single crochet in your first stitch. There's one and two into that same stitch. Then you're gonna do one single crochet in the next. Two again in this next stitch. So two single crochet, that's one. And then in the same stitch, two. And then one again in the next stitch. So just one by itself. And just repeat that process all the way around. And you know what to do here. Slip stitch to join. You got it, you got it. Hey! And chain one. Oh, and now it's time to start making our petals. So that chain one you did at the start of this round, that's going to count as your first stitch. So what you're gonna do is in your foundation chain, you're going to do two half double crochets. So that's one half double crochet in our foundation chain. Then you're gonna do one more, so you should have a total of two insert half double crochet then in the next stitch you're going to simply slip stitch not a single crochet just a slip stitch that's what's going to give it that domed shape for the petals and then in your next stitch you're going to do five half double crochet in one stitch and then at the end of that slip stitch into the next stitch and you're just going to repeat that process of five half double crochet slip stitch five half double crochet slip stitch all the way around until you get to the end of the round. Oh, and see, they're starting to look like little petals already. Okay, and once you get to the end of the round, you slip stitch, and then that foundation chain where it only had two half double crochets originally, you're going to do two more half double crochets into that same stitch. So two, that's your second half double crochet into your starting foundation chain. So that'll give you a total of five. Then you're gonna slip stitch to join at the top. Pull your yarn through. Now all that's left is for you to pull a little bit of yarn, cut it with your scissors, secure it with a knot at the top. Okay, and then once you secure it at the top of the little knot, then you're just gonna take your yarn needle and weave in your two ends, and then you are all done. Just cut off the excess with a pair of scissors, and you can kind of like manipulate it to smooth out the extra yarn, but then you have your cute little crochet daisy scrubby. Oh, I love how these turn out. They're just so fun and unique, and what I love about using this yarn in particular is that it softens up really beautifully when you throw it in the washer and dryer, so all those little like lumps and bumps that you can see from your crocheting, they kind of soften out, and it looks more and more like a flower the more that you use it.
And as I mentioned before, they're perfect for gently buffing your skin during your cleansing routine. You can put some toner and use it to wipe off your face, wet it, and use it as a makeup remover. I especially love using these in the second step of a double cleansing routine. It just finishes off so perfectly, and it's great for replacing those disposable makeup remover wipes. I am so happy with how these little daisies turned out, and I hope you love them too. If you end up making one of these daisy face scrubbies for yourself, make sure you post a video and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your makes. I love following along with what you guys make. So yeah, be sure to tag me so we can be buddies. So as I mentioned before, there is a written pattern that you can download and print off for free for this particular crochet project. You can get that for free by subscribing to my weekly newsletter. I will leave a link in the description box below. Sustainable swaps are probably my favorite projects to DIY. So if you guys have any suggestions or requests for things that you would love to see a DIY sustainable swap for, leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to make a video about them in the future. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this daisy face scrubby crochet tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that red subscribe button below, and give this video a like if you're feeling it. I love you and I appreciate you whether you're new or old to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have the best day ever and I'll see you again next time. Bye!